changed the world. Good morning, 47. Your target is Vincente Murillo, a fascist militia leader thought to have disappeared. A prominent figure in the 1980s war against communism, we have intel that he has returned to continue his old mission of creating a new world order in South America, starting in Colombia. Intel provided by our client tells us that he is a narcissist, a pathological liar, and very paranoid with a drinking habit. If he is to fulfill his dream of starting a fascist uprising, he could let the world know that our client has supported him back in the 80s. Our client needs their past mistakes resolved. Times have changed, so good luck, 47. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of assassination and the elusive targets. And today's target, the revolutionary year three, set in Santa Fortuna. So for today's challenge, we will be starting at the bus stop and we're going to be bringing with us a vial of lethal poison and the seeker one in a briefcase. Everything else is available on the map. So right from the start and off the bat, our target will spawn in one of three locations. Now for this reliable method to work, we need him to spawn here. And he is currently not here at the moment. So if he's not here for you, then all you have to do is quickly restart and run back down the street. Now, you could get him spawning right here on your very first go. A few people have mentioned to me that that has been the case for them. As you can see, for me, it usually takes three or four attempts, uh, sometimes as much as seven attempts. But eventually, after restarting a number of times, our target is now in attendance. So we can begin. So this will not be the fastest method, as the first thing we require will be a guard's outfit, and a relatively safe guard to get will be one of the two at the end of the map here. So in the tunnel we are going to retrieve our Seeker 1, and then run past the guards and drop our briefcase. Now one of them will notice that and take it away. Uh, if it's the guard with his back to us, as it is here in the video, we will need to get the other guard to move. Luckily, we have the perfect device for that. So when the guard removing the briefcase has moved away a safe distance, we can then shoot our friend here with the Seeker 1, and that's going to make him sick. Now, if, the other, if this guard takes the briefcase away you don't have to worry about all of this because the other guard will have his back to you and you can just walk up behind him and render him unconscious. Unfortunately he was not our man today so while his colleague is removing the briefcase we can make him sick and when he goes to throw up we can then render him unconscious. We want to grab his gun drag him nice and deep into the bushes, take his outfit, and then make our way back to the target. Now there are a number of people in the target's location and in his direct vicinity, uh, one of which is an enforcer, so we need to go around the back of this house to avoid another enforcer. But once we get inside, we can see that there is one enforcer right here. Now he will have his back to us the whole time that our target is out on the balcony. So we just have to get rid of this guy. Now this can be somewhat tricky. Uh, if you do not succeed with the Seeker 1, you do have the gun you've collected that you can drop on the stairs and get the guard to turn around and spot it. Uh, luckily for us, the target had just started a conversation, so we have time to go in. But you may have to wait him out, 
and also most importantly before you enter into the area and poison the glass be aware that that video camera acts as a real security camera do not walk in front of it but eventually our target will make his way back into the room and sooner or later will sample the drink the money is being transferred now 47 now to find an exit so mr vincetti has demised and all that's left for us to do is to make good our escape remembering to make your way around the back of the house next door to avoid the enforcer uh, though you can run down the street and if you're fast enough and uh, dist distance enough you can make it without being spotted but I'm just going for the safer method which gains us the silent assassin rating so that's another elusive target taken care of I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.